today we're going to focus on cost minimization. In the past, we looked at utility, where each happiness score we gathered from our answer wouldn't mean anything unless we compared it to other happiness scores. The difference here is we're looking at production functions instead. Production functions give us an exact output given that we use a certain amount of input 1 or x1 and input 2 or x2. In this case, if we were to use 10 units of input 1 and 100 units of input 2, we would get out 20 units to be sold or produce 20 units of this good. That's a tangible number that means something on its own. Other than that, the solving process for this type of problem is very similar to what we've looked at before. The only difference, we're now plugging in the number of quantity that we want to produce and trying to find the minimum cost to produce such a quantity. So let's start out with this function. We have a quasi-linear production function in this case, x1 plus root x2. And we have our costs for each input, input one being $40 per, per unit and input two being $1 per unit. We're trying to minimize the cost, therefore, of these two inputs, using these two inputs, to produce 300 units. To start, we're going to do, as always, with quasi-linear functions, which is take the MRS. And in this case, because we're talking about technology and production, I'm going to call this instead the marginal rate of technical substitution. This means instead of looking at marginal utility, I will look at the marginal product of input one and put that over the marginal product of input two. What's changing here is the interpretation, but not the math. Okay, so our marginal product of x1 or input one would be the derivative with respect to x1 of this production function, which in this case is just going to be one put that over the derivative of this production, of this side of the production function, or x2, um, with respect to x2, right? So we'll say 1 over 2 root x2 would be our derivative with respect to input 2 there. We can move this up and say that our marginal rate of technical substitution then is 2 times root x2. Okay, From there, we can set this equal to our cost ratio. So 2 over, or 2 times root x2, rather, is equal to 40 over 1. The cost of input 1 over the cost of input 2. This means 2x2 equals 40 to root x2 rather equals 40. So root x2 equals 20. The optimal amount of x2 that we should use is 400. From there, we can plug back into our production function, seeing that we need to produce 300 units. So we'll say 300 is equal to x1 plus the square root of 400. Square root of 400, as we saw, is 20. So x1 should equal 280. This means optimally, to minimize our costs of producing exactly 300 units, we will use 400 units of input 2 and 280 units of input 1.